welcome to Asylum TV. Hey, this week we're going to show you how to install this TerraFlex Big Brake Kit and show you how much better it is than the stock JK brakes. So let's get right to it. All right, first we got to remove all this old old stuff. I'm going to start by taking the caliper off. It's two 13 millimeter bolts. Takes two seconds to get off. Then once you remove the caliper bolts, you want to pull it off and just set it to the side. We're just going to set ours right here. Normally, you can hang it by a hook, hang it somewhere up out of the way. You don't want to put the tension on the brake line. So we're just going to set ours there. Remove your pads. And there's two 21 millimeter bolts back here that you're going to want to pull out to remove this bracket. Once those two are removed, you're ready to pull your bracket off and your rotor comes right off with it. Alright, now we've got our factory rotor, caliper and caliper bracket removed. We're ready to put the new stuff in. We're going to take the new TerraFlex rotor. Try to keep your hands off of the rotor surface. You're going to clean it anyway. You're going to find the correct bolt pattern and it slides on just like so. Then you're going to take the caliper bracket, TerraFlex supplies you a new one to fit their caliper. You're going to place it back on. Using the factory hardware, you're going to bolt it back up. Alright, now you're going to install your pads from TerraFlex. Instead of using the blue disc brake quiet, these have already got a self-adhesive pad on them. You peel off the backing and you install them that way. And They're very simple to put in. They just slide into the grooves just like any other normal brake pad. Now you're ready to install your new dual piston caliper. Just slide it on right over the brake pads. You have to press them in a tad bit and you start your your caliper bolts. And there is the brake kit installed on one side. We still have to hook up the brake line. I'll show you guys that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. All right, now we're going to attach our brake line to the caliper we have installed. Key point is TerraFlex provides you with two brand new copper washers. Anytime you take your brake line off the caliper, never reuse these washers. They're cheap enough. Replace them. Always take them and get new ones when you take your brake line apart. So we're going to take our brake line off our stock caliper here. When you take it apart, easiest thing to do is once you get it apart, is to just pinch the holes closed, put fingers over both holes to try to prevent any loss of unnecessary fluid. You're going to lose some, but Alright, so on your new copper washers, one goes on each side of the little banjo bolt. Simple as that. Now we'll do the other side. We'll bleed the brakes and this job's done. Alright, here I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison 
of the stock versus the TerraFlex. As you can see, the rotors themselves are substantially larger. These rotors have been on my Jeep uh, about 50,000 miles, and not only are they completely grooved, they actually have stress cracks in the face of the rotor for me working them too hard. I drive my Jeep like a race car, so I expect it to stop like one. With this setup, it's not going to do it. Not only that, the actual pads. These pads have less than 10,000 miles on them, and they're completely busted in half. Didn't hold up very well to the challenge of stopping 5,000 pound plus vehicle. Okay, both sides are done. All that's left is to bleed this vehicle. We're not going to do that today because I'm going to change the master cylinder as well. But the actual big brake install, about an hour, hour and a half's worth of time. Any person could do it in your driveway. It's very simple, very easy procedure. TerraFlex has very good, well written instructions that come with the kit. Very worthwhile kit to install. And we'll let you know how it is once we get it on the road. Your time, so take it all.